we have been able to get the same uh, scale of revenue at around 40% lower spends. With Moengage, one big benefit that we see is that they are extremely rich on features, so best in class on features, extremely good on support. I'm Sudhi. Uh, I am VP Growth here at Wow Skin Science. I'm Shalini and I've joined as a lead of retention. Wow is one of the leading uh, D2C brands in the beauty and personal care industry in the country today. We are a house of brands in the beauty and personal care space. Today we have about 600 products in our portfolio. We saw crazy growth. It was not in double digits, it was in triple digits. We are like doubling, tripling every year over the last 3-4 years. Now to maintain that growth scale, we also needed the consumers to try us and come back to us and hence retention became an overall very important play as we grew our bases. Uh, for man managing retention, we needed a partner who can cope up with the scale, provided us with an expertise uh, and data intelligence that can help us segment customers, understand their behaviors and then personalize communication at scale. We want to make sure that their experience and the communications are in a way that we are able to get the best conversions out of them. But long-term strategy is that we want to focus on retention and getting users to come back to us. And that is being done with the help of a lot of automations around uh, journeys, how we communicate to the customer to come back. So these are the things we have been trying to work on. We have been able to get the same uh, scale of revenue at around 40% lower spends. Approach is that we have to be very customer centric and not really campaign centric. Moengage has actually empowered us a lot in terms of analytics. So we are currently able to understand what is our customer doing once he's on our site, how does their funnel look like, what is the best journey for their conversions, which has been really empowering in terms of Moengage. If I had to give you a few examples, so we have a lot of dashboards which we can build within Moengage. So we have been using that a lot. We have built a lot of regular uh, dashboards or metrics which we look at and we have automated that. So every day when we look at it, we get a lot of insights. We started looking into the data. We realized that that had happened in the last few days and this is something we only got to know because of Moengage. And then we stitched it back to a problem that the OTPs were being delayed and there was an issue from the vendor side. So when we saw that, we saw 10% uplift in that step which is a major uplift because it is a high intent user who was not converting because of some issue in OTP. Initially, we were doing an install to sign in journey and then a sign in to first order journey. But looking at the user journeys and user paths, from Moengage, we realized that 80% of the signups actually come just before the order is placed. Which means that if I optimize on registration, that is not going to help me. I instead changed the journey from install to first order rather than having two journeys and that actually gave me an uplift of around 40% when compared to a control group. The biggest win I think in the recent times has been that we had a birthday sale in January which was the biggest property in terms of sale we had executed and focused on existing customers. So when we did that, all the communication was sent via Moengage and everything was used uh, in terms of A-B testing, in terms of dynamic personalization, in terms of using in-apps, SMS, push notifications, no advertisement, only and only our current base, which we reached out to via moving it. So I think, yeah, in that, we saw like around 11 to 12 X ROIs actually from moving it. So I think that was the biggest win, which we saw in the current system. I think the right kind of segmentation and analytics that's one thing that I think is, is, a, is a pretty strong suit for Moing Age. Moing Age has been a very important part of our tech stack. I think the first thing which I would like to highlight is the ease of integration. With Moing Age, once you integrate it well, because everything is documented, your tech team who is implementing it, they don't really need as much of time or bandwidth as it might be needed with any other tool or any other in-house capability. And the second thing has been the efficiency or the impact which we have seen while using the capabilities. Initially, if I have to do a certain sort of campaign, the ideation of it, getting the data for it, getting the campaign set up with the help of tech and so on, we used to spend seven to eight days. But now that same thing I can do within 20 to 30 minutes maybe. 
just empowers our team so much to try new ideas. We don't have to uh, be dependent on a tech team, not ask for their bandwidth, or not ask for a data team bandwidth. So all this getting solved by one tool is what I have been very amazed with. And the support team is amazing. It's an all-in-one platform, right? So instead of dealing with multiple vendors, someone else for WhatsApp, someone else for SMS, someone else for email, it just helps club everything under one umbrella. But a lot of work can be automated, and then there could be ad hoc work that can keep happening. The team's time can be utilized in a much better, better way. Uh, our previous partner were not as attuned to the scale that we wanted to operate at. With Moengage, one big benefit that we see is that they are extremely rich on features, so best in class on features, extremely good on support, right? And a lot of data that we can analyze, a lot of segmentation that we can do, a lot of journeys that we can design in terms of automated flows, right? So those are things that we see as beneficial and helping us. 